The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gidge, and this is Us Democrats. It's a new show here at XS Nashua, Us Democrats, and it means exactly that, the Democrats, Us Democrats. There's an election coming up for a seat in the uh, state legislature that has been vacated, and we have uh, two Democrats vying for it, and the first will be Carl Andre. Carl Andre, how are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you're you for having me. Yeah, you're from Ward 8? I am from Ward 8. I've lived there since uh, 1974. That's a long time. And you've been in politics before. Let it tell our, our, our viewers, because uh, some may know you. Uh, some do, and some, uh, and an awful lot have moved here uh, uh, since. Re recently, sure. Right, yes. I, I ran for uh, Alderman in uh, Ward 8 in 1977. And um, there were two, two opponents at that time. Actually, there was the incumbent, uh, Suzanne Coletta. I don't know if you, you probably remember. Yes. She was uh, on the school board and then uh, on the board of aldermen, uh, filling a vacancy. And we were running to fill the rest of that term. And uh, Mo Parent, who used to be involved in radio in uh, Nashua, ran for the seat and myself. And actually, when I won that race, the Nashua Telegraph said it was the biggest upset in the city because I had only moved here in 72. And um, I was reelected twice. The last time I was reelected in, uh, in Ward 8, I got 70% of the vote, even though I had two strong opponents. So after that, I ran for alderman at large. And uh, twice I was uh, elected alderman at large. And I was elected president of the, uh, of the board uh, for, two, for two years. Wow, that's a lot of politics. Uh, that's a basic city, Nashua. Uh, why, uh, well, you're from Ward 8, obviously, and you're a Democrat. Uh, why Concord? Well, I took a break from, uh, from politics. Well, I, as you know, I also uh, ran for uh, mayor of Nashua. Uh, yes, against, that, uh, that, uh, you won everyone but that one, if I remember correctly. <laughs> uh, that's right. That is a seat I've never won. Uh, I ran against uh, Don Davidson. And uh, he won and, and served four years. And um, then he was beat by uh, Bernie Streeter. Oh, I remember that. You remember that, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I spent a lot of time since then building a business. I uh, built a business in, uh, in Nashua. I wanted to work uh, close to home. I started out uh, when I first incorporated. I was at uh, 20 Trafalgar Square in that glass tower behind. Yeah, uh, you know where it is. Behind the hotel. Uh, we outgrew that space, and I moved down to, uh, now I'm in Ward 8, at, down to one, one uh, Terra Boulevard, which is uh, uh, two miles from my house, which is very convenient. So I can campaign on my way to work and on my way home from work. I usually knock on a few doors uh, uh, each way, uh, put up a few signs, uh, meet a lot of, I meet quite a few people that, that remember when I was in politics, and I meet quite a few people who have uh, no idea that I held, uh, held office before. But but why the state? I mean, uh, is there something been driving you crazy that's been taking place up in uh, Concord in the last four years? Uh, well, three years ago, when the uh, Republicans took over the uh, the state house, uh, the Senate, the uh, the House, and also the Governor's Council, they just did so many things I just didn't understand at all. Uh, lowering the cigarette tax. Uh, you may remember I had a. a, a a piece in the in yes. the paper uh, yes. about that. I thought it was about the most insane thing that uh, that they did, uh, encouraging people to smoke and losing state revenue. Just I couldn't fathom it. About thirty million. Yeah, right. I talked to uh, Gary Lambert, our, our senator, and I and I said, why why would you do such a thing? And he told me he said, well, um, they the uh, Roses Association brought in these charts and graphs and showed how they were going to actually get more money because more people were going to come up from uh, Massachusetts and buy cigarettes, and while they were here, we were going to buy other things as well. So business was going to boom. The state would actually end up with more money. And I said, I'll bet you $10 the state ends up with less money. And we shook on it. And to his credit, six months later, I saw him at a, a, a Chamber of Commerce dinner, and he came over to me and said, 
you're right. And he handed me a $10 bill. Honestly. Honestly. He said, I, I spoke to the uh, uh, state treasurer, and he said, at this point, we're down $22 million. So that's a pretty expensive uh, experiment. That, And I've been in politics long enough to know you'll see a lot of uh, special interest experts come in with charts and graphs and try to convince you of something that your mind tells you doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, you know, their, their charts and graphs look good and they put a lot of work into them, but if it doesn't make sense logically, probably go with your gut. Well, I, I'm in commerce, which is banking and insurance, and they, they brought the charts into us. And uh, there's only four uh, Democrats on the committee. Obviously, w we lost. Uh, so it was uh, 30, it's about close to 40 million we have lost. That was a mistake. That mm. certainly is one good reason. You have another reason? You have the time? I uh, Well, yeah, owning my own business, it doesn't mean I have uh, lots of time, but by time is my own, I can sort of uh, adjust things. I can do something on a different day or at a different time, and uh, I can make it up to Concord and um, represent the city of Nashua the way I think it should be represented. I don't think um, in, the, in, well, three years ago when the Republicans were in charge, I don't think what they, what they voted on was always in the best interest of the people of Nashua, uh, certainly uh, not allowing it to at least study bringing rail uh, uh, to Nashua. Uh, there was a time that I worked in, uh, in Boston and I consulted and would go to New York City and I would yeah. drive uh, to Lowell or Bill Ricker and take the train to, to North Station and then get over to South Station and take the train to New York City. And uh, it would make so much more sense to, to be able to get on rail here and, and leave my car at home. And as you get down to uh, southern Connecticut and you see beautiful neighborhoods not too far from the train tracks and businessmen in uh, you know, nice suits and briefcases uh, just walk from their house down, get on the train, go right into the center of, of New York, get out at, uh, at Penn Station right near Times Square and, and, uh, and go to work and take the train at home. And now, uh, today, on the train, you can use your cell phone, you can use your, your laptop or your, or your tablet, get a lot of work done, or just relax and read the newspaper. Well, uh, you are a Democrat. Um, I am a Democrat and, and uh, proud of it. I'm a Democrat also, and it was one of the great mistakes. Uh, I think one of the, uh, the and, but I must say, a, a lot of the representatives, both Republican and Democrat, from Nashua, uh, were for the rail, and a lot were not for the rail Republicans, and they're no longer in office uh, here in, uh, uh, in Nashua, because they are Republicans, and uh, the Democrats are, are coming back. Uh, besides uh, the rail, uh, education? Education is, uh, is very important, and aid to education, and the state has a role to play. Uh, the property tax payers can't do it all. In Nashua, we have lots of businesses, like my own, that pay business profits tax. Uh, a lot of retail establishments that pay business profits tax. Uh, we have a lot of um, gasoline tax paid here. A lot of uh, our liquor store is one of the busiest in the state. Uh, generates a lot of revenue for the state. I'm sure we sell a lot of lottery tickets uh, here. And by the way, again, that came into our committee because we're mm. also consumer affairs. And we pushed that to let our state uh, liquor commission run it as a business. In fact, it was our governor, who then was uh, Senator uh, Hassan, who uh, brought that in, had it passed, so to let our liquor commission run like a business. And this is the reason why we are so uh, so busy. But they tried to overturn that uh, uh, last term, and they, they couldn't do it. And so you are a Democrat. You're coming in, and you're definitely for the commission to make sure that it has freedoms. Run like, run like a business, have, uh, have uh, you know, the freedom to, to generate revenue is what they do. And uh, the city should share in that revenue. Cities and towns should, should share in that, in that revenue. Quite often when they want to balance the state budget, they do it by cutting money that goes back to the communities, which really isn't a savings, it's just the communities have to raise that same revenue because the program is still there. We still have to educate the, the children. We still have to build schools. We still have to uh, you know, build roads. But if we're not getting the aid from the state, we have to get it from, the cities have to get it from the, uh, the property tax, and, uh, which is one of the few taxes that, that cities collect that along with the, uh, 
off-road use tax when you register your uh, motor vehicle. Uh, give me one more um, aspect of you going up there that will help the city of Nashua. Well, I'll be there when you need me. I'll be there uh, for important votes. Uh, it, it, it's hard to anticipate every issue that, that may come up, as you probably That's realize true. when you get there. Things just start uh, flying at you. And what you need is reasonable people who can uh, look at both sides of a situation, uh, listen to arguments, uh, uh, separate the, uh, the uh, sensical from the nonsensical, and, and make decisions that for, for the best interest of, of most of the people. I think I can do that. I think I've proven that I've, I've done that for uh, 14 years on the Board of Aldermen. Every time I was reelected, it was with a, a, a higher vote than I got before. So I presume people liked what I did. Of course, uh, as you know, you can't always make everyone happy. But uh, you do the best you can, and you accommodate as many as you can. And, um, and sometimes you just have to say, no, that's not. not if there's something that you believe in, but let's say your constituency do not believe in, but uh, it's in your heart, will you vote against your constituency? Uh, well, I think that they're not only in uh, electing someone to, to um, you know, it's not mob rule. They're, they're electing you for your mind as well. And uh, we'll take the time, you, I, and uh, 398 other people to listen to both sides of the issue and uh, make decisions for the best interest of people. Sometimes you have to, you have to sell your, uh, your uh, ideas uh, to them, uh, but you should certainly also listen to them and, uh, and see where they're, they're coming from. Well, uh, I've mentioned that I've been in commerce. This is the third time. Uh, what mm -hmm. committee would you like to get into? Uh, well, I would like to be on education. Okay. Uh, I would like to be on transportation. Uh, I would like to be on finance. Um, and I think, that, I think those three would keep me pretty busy. I don't have as much interest in uh, uh, fish and game. Uh, don't have as, uh, as much interest in, uh, in uh, agriculture. Uh, those I don't think I could do as, as, as much for Nashua in those positions. As, yeah, as a businessman. Right. And, and where, my expert, where, where my expertise is. You know, I, I wouldn't know a, uh, a wide mouth trout from a small mouth trout. Actually, that, that's a very important committee, but that's usually <laughs> committees that uh, people who do not have much time will get on because they have very few bills. Uh, the busy committees can have up to 70 bills, and, and that's a lot of time because that's not just hearing the bill, that's debating the bill, it's you know, having uh, all sorts of... Uh, committees to look at the bill. So it, it's, it, it gets very busy. But that's obviously, uh, fishing game is very important. Oh, what certainly. other committee, if, uh, what committee, uh, if you had, the, you've named three committees, what committee would you like to get on the, uh, the most? Transportation. OK, is there anyone uh, in transportation uh, up in Concord that you know, you've talked to? Um, I've talked to several of, of our uh, state reps uh, you know, before I decided to run to talk about the, the commitment. Uh, how important is it that we, that we uh, keep this seat, uh, et, et cetera. But I did not get down to the point. You know, it's, it's a little presumptuous to start picking my committees when I'm in a very tough uh, uh, primary on September 17th. And then I'm going to have a very tough election if I should, should I get through the primary on uh, November 5th. So let me, let me work on that first and before I start getting the list of committees and start picking which ones uh, I would like to uh, serve on. Education is also very important. You have met your, uh, let's say, your competitor or the individual who's running against you. you have an opinion of uh, this lady? Uh, she's a very nice person. Uh, I've met her uh, before casually, uh, I think, at uh, Debbie Pignatelli's house. Uh, and I think also, I think we were both at the same function at uh, Betty Lasky's. Uh, she's had a couple of functions at her home for city Democrats, as I have, and uh, I was not able to make them. But I, I, I know I've met her casually. Uh, when I decided to run, she was about the fifth person who I, who I called, and I wished her luck, and she wished me luck. Uh, whoever wins this um, primary, I'm, I'm pretty sure is going to support the, uh, the other person, because I think we both feel it's very important to have a Democrat representing uh, Ward 8, because I, I think 
rate, the democratic positions are so much closer to what people want. Uh, in uh, if you win the primary, area. who will you be running against? Uh, Pete Silva. Okay. Do you think you can beat Pete Silva? I well, the reason that one reason that I am running is uh, is I feel as though I have the best chance of of beating Pete Silva because I, I've run in Ward Eight uh, so many times, and there is a, a certain base of, of people who who supported me back in the in the nineties who will support me again, and I get that when I go door to door. Uh, and you, a gentleman told me uh, two days ago. He said. I remember you. I remember when we needed a street discontinued, and, and you worked very hard on that, and I'll certainly support you. And uh, another a person uh, told me that I remember when you were an alderman and, and we were having, I don't want to go into his particular problem, but, but you, you helped us with it, and I appreciate that. And I don't remember each individual incidents because so many things, as you see, sure. happen. But uh, I said, well, I, I, I'm glad I was able to help you, and I'd appreciate if you can make it to the polls on the 17th. And, Bring your friends. We literally have 60 seconds. Anything you'd like to say? I would like to say, well, thank you very much. I enjoy this uh, studio. I remember when Time Warner first approached the city, and uh, part of the contract was that they had local access, and they left, left a pile of money. I, I think it was around $50,000 for equipment, which I'm sure you've spent more than that and got money since then, and Comcast took over. But I'm glad that we're able to, uh, to use it and take advantage of it. Good. Well, good luck. Uh, well, this has been uh, Us Democrats with Carl Andre. He's running for uh, state rep uh, from Ward 8. He has an opponent, uh, another Democrat. Uh, there will be a runoff, and then there will be a campaign uh, for the office against the Republican and Democrat coming up this November. So, till next time. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.